It's as somebody once said, City Hall is beautiful, but it is beige. And this is bright, it's vibrant, and the message is unmistakable. And we're glad to be part of it. Well, coming up tomorrow, January 22nd, March 50 years since the U.S. Supreme Court recognized the constitutional right to abortion in Roe v. Wade. On the 50th anniversary, Elise Haas shares a story of how a local organizer used her craft to send a message after it was overturned last year. Jen LaMostra has been crocheting since she was a kid. My grandma taught me. She says her grandmother would be sad to know a woman's right to choose would be threatened in her granddaughter's lifetime. But mostly proud that I'm doing something about it. Jen is considered a craftivist as she took to designing a massive mural made of yarn to speak out against the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade last year. But with a vision so big, she couldn't go it alone. So I went to Instagram and I just hashtag like call the crocheters, abortion is health care, uh, yarn bombing, yarn mural, fiber art, call the, you know, and I just, I got such an amazing like response and people were messaging me like, I want to help. As a result, 40 women across America collaborated to crochet this 17 foot by 11 foot mural. They all are fighting for their sisters, daughters, wives, cousins. Featuring Lady Liberty uplifting a uterus held by the American Medical Association symbol. The three stars recognize the three dissenting justices. The pink triangle is emblematic of all people with uteruses who need reproductive health care because crochet hooks were often used in back alley abortions. And it's meant to be really big as like a really loud way of communicating how we feel and what we want. The Liberty Crochet Mural tours the state and is currently displayed in Portland City Hall. This is a great reminder that there is no right given that can't be taken away. Mayor Ted Wheeler says this beautiful form of protest signifies how rights need to be vigilantly nurtured, upheld, and supported. The timing couldn't be better and the message couldn't be more important. So far, 20 other states have replicated Jen's Liberty Crochet mural. It's like simultaneously devastating and amazing, right? <laughs> it's like, I hate that we have to do this, and yet it's so moving how generous people are. What started off as a ball of yarn has unraveled into a nationwide movement. We're using our crochet hooks, we're using yarn, and we're using it to amplify our voices and millions of other voices. And we're not quiet about it, we're not shy, we're really in your face, but in a like soft, I'm a blanket, a really big blanket kind of way. <laughs> in Portland, Elise Haas, Coin6 News.